I wish I could tell you a story, like a, like a, okay, hey, okay. How about this? Um, this is an, that's not a very good story. Everybody wants to hear Randy Rhodes stuff, or somebody, or somebody. Let me think. Let me play. song eternal darkness i figured i'd play through most of it uh because i'm gonna be recording it next week or the week after so this is to i'm gonna have to send this to george um there you go so uh, uh 
shoot, I've told the story about him getting mad at me. I've told the uh, sitting down. I know you guys really want to know what he said to me, what we talked about. And it's really stupid. And it's kind of embarrassing. Not embarrassing, but kind of like, I don't want anybody to know. Because it has to do with somebody that I knew and he knew. And uh, I just don't want to say it. I don't want to talk about it. You understand? You get it? I'm, I can't talk about everything that he told me. The main thing is, is that he got out of his flipping car. He parked across the street, by the way. Walked over. Because I was sitting on the curb already. I was thinking, I'm like, man. And then he drove by. I'm like, oh, what the? I'm like, Randy. Hey, dude. And I'm like, hey. And he stopped. And in Scirocco. Pulled over. Got out, walked over, sat down next to me. And I'm like, he's like, what's, what's wrong? And I'm like, and it sounds stupid now, but I'm like, you know what? I don't know if I should be playing guitar. And I wasn't taking lessons anymore. He was in Ozzy. And uh, he was back on one of his things. You know, he came back a few times. And when he was came back, he was home playing with his trains. He wasn't, you know, at the Camp Osborne like Sharon wanted it to be. So, oh, and then I, did I ever tell, okay, so I'll tell this story. And I, and I mentioned it to somebody, and it's a cool story. It's very cool, and this is something that he did. This is his sense of humor, but also gives you, like, a little taste of, you know, how he was. So, it's lunch hour, Burbank High School. He knew it. I think it was in 10th... I had to have been in 10th grade. I'm pretty sure. And uh, just a block away from Burbank High, Burbank High is 7-Eleven. So everybody would walk there and get... You know, I would always get Funyuns and the Dr. Pepper. Big old Dr. Peppers, Funyuns, you know, breakfast or lunch of champions. Breakfast I'd usually have... And uh, Dr. Pepper, and then float through school until lunch when I had the munchies. And then, uh, but only 10th grade, 11th, I stopped smoking completely because of the PCP thing. So I never, I haven't smoked that crap since 11th grade. That's a long time. And I don't want to get into that. So, you know, you do what you want. If it calms you down, hallelujah. To me, I'm a, I'm a paranoid, horrifying wreck, so I don't like it. Anyways, and I told you, I came in, you know, wasted once. Just wasted. When I was, you know, taking lessons from Randy, and he got mad. Because I was wasting my parents' money. I said, no, it's not my parents' money, it's my money. So he told you that. So this one, it's lunchtime. We're all at 7-Eleven. This limo pulls up. And in my mind, it's white. It could have been black, but the thing is, it's a friggin' limo. Pulls up to 7-Eleven, and out gets Randy. And he's, you know, there wasn't that many people there, because, you know, I bolt early to, out of Burbank, you know, at, to lunch to get to, you know, skip class usually. So I was usually there early. He wanted to be there right when lunch got out, so when everybody came down there, like, whoa! Because this is like one of, like, just as they were coming, they were starting, getting ready to tour the U.S., I think. I'm pretty sure this is what it was. So, he gets out, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, Randy! And he's like, hey! And I'm like, son of a bitch, man, that is bad. And you could see somebody was in there. You could see legs. Uh, at least two people. And, uh, you know, I'm like, okay, because I was standing outside, you know, talking. I'm like, I'm going in. I got to go in and see what he's doing. So I go in there, and he's getting a big gulp, Dr. Pepper. Everybody knows what a big gulp is, right? So he's getting big gulp, Dr. Pepper. Or maybe a super big gulp. I don't know. Little guy. But caffeine was... So, he gets a big gulp, Dr. Pepper. Then he goes over and gets an Abba Zabba. Now, that's like a peanut butter, like a toffee thing. 
filled with peanut butter candy bar and I think he got some smokes I'm not sure I don't know if they sold his brand there and I, I all I was remembering is like an Abba Zaba and a bit and a Dr. Pe so that's what he got and then people started showing up because he was taking his time and talking to people and a couple of people got his autograph and blah 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 uh, I have his autograph twice but the one that I that I I show is is crap but it, it's his it's his autograph um <laughs> I didn't think to do that I didn't want to be running up like now that he's big, I'm going to treat him different because he's the same guy. And he's acting like the same guy. Because I see pictures of him, you know, Jim, and, like, and I'm like, holy crap, that's the guy that I took less? That's, that's that guy. So it was weird because when I'd see him, it was like, that's not him. That's Randy Rhodes, the guy that lives over on Andover or Amherst. <laughs> Brent lived on Andover. So, he does that, he can, and he's talking to people, and I just said hi, and that was it. And I walked in, I watched him, and then when he's leaving, I'm like, see you later, man. He's like, later, Michael. Or see you later, or bye, Michael, whatever he said. Don't remember exactly, because I was just like, you know, you try remembering that long ago. So, uh, he gets in the limo, he was getting in the limo. And someone says, hey, where's Ozzy? He's like, yeah, he's sitting in the limo. And everybody's like, no way. And then Randy gets in, shuts the door. And the limo stays there for like a couple minutes. And I'm like, okay, what's going to happen? Is, is Ozzy going to get out now? Is he going to do anything? Is that, no. Well, he just pulled away and went right towards his house. They're probably dropping him off. But he made that stop. So that's a pretty cool story, huh? I don't know if I've told that before, but that is actual. And I there's got to be people that can back me up on that. I mean, I'm not. I know I wasn't the only one there. There was other people there. So there you go. So there is your other Randy story. You know, when Eddie, <laughs> if Eddie ever, <laughs> we'll be talking about him. I'm sure, but. I do not mind talking about Randy because I feel that he is slipping away in the history of uh, guitar players. It, I mean, there's kids I talk to at church, at other places I go. I don't want to give away too many places. But there's, I always talk to kids, especially musicians. And if I go into the guitar center, I always, you know, I'll be, you know, jamming, playing something stupid. And they'll go, hey. They're like, oh man, you know, you, did you, uh, have you ever took lessons? Like, yeah, I took lessons from, you know, Randy Rhodes and Craig Turner. And they'll just like, oh. I'm like, you have no idea who Randy Rhodes is, do you? He's like, who? I go, Crazy Train, Ozzy. Oh yeah, yeah, Ozzy wrote that. I go, Ozzy never wrote anything. Randy wrote that. Randy Rhodes. Go home and look it up. He's a guitar player that should not be forgotten, ever. So that's the problem. That's why I don't mind talking about it or putting dots on an EVH guitar. And yes, it is. And I put that sticker. I hadn't put the Charvel sticker there just because I thought it would look cool, but it, then it, it looks stupid, so I put it on the back. But it's not covering up the serial number, so you can see the serial number. All right, so there you go, you know. One more thing, people keep telling me that the Kalamazoo, Michigan recording is slow. It's, I don't know if it's slow or not, because it's exactly a half step down, which makes everything, the other ones, a full step, where that guitar is in tune with it. So, somebody, it's either it is slow, which possible 
possible that the thing did record slow. I don't know. But it's exactly a half. So when he's, when he's like, I was just playing along to uh, Suicide Solution. This one is tuned down a half step, just like uh, Eddie's. 